Hey guys, I was just editing and I talked about this in my video. Now it does look like this is the lady that did that article I'm going to talk about in my video. She said it is a joke. Um, I kind of thought somebody said that, but it looks like it may have been a troll post, but then I still don't know if I believe her and she just feels stupid, but regardless, whoever this gamer trans think is, is, um, just attacking people and calling them alt right and everything now because of it. It's just, it's absolutely ridiculous this person is. But regardless, don't worry, we're going to talk about Chun Li and why she is not in Mortal Kombat. See, tweeting me at all right weirdos and provocateurs. Okay, all right, honey, all right, yeah, you're you're super. Wait, let's see real quick. Pretty. On to the video! Hey guys, it is Tristan with Nerdhut's Newsstand. And I know we talked about Mortal Kombat in a video yesterday. And then we talked <laughs> quite a bit about it in my live stream. But I'm still going through the trailer. I'm still looking at stuff. We saw Simon McCoy, who is the director, talk a little bit about it on IGN. So I want to talk a little bit more about it. But we have to start with the crazy, right? We have to start with Chun-Li. Because she's definitely missing from Mortal Kombat. I have no idea still at this point if this is supposed to be satire or not. My assumption is it is, but it's by Jezebel, which is a, a super feminist website. They have ties to, um, if you look up here, all the websites that are owned in the same club, AV, Deadspin, Gizmodo, Kotaku. So I don't know. Is this satire or is this just really, really bad writing? Why would you not have taken it down? Obviously, um, this was posted at 420 yesterday. And there's an update at 439 saying Jezebel discovered the answer to our question is because Chun-Li isn't in Mortal Kombat. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I think by the way that the article is written, it seems very over the top. And I, I'm thinking that it is probably satire. But even so, it, it really wasn't funny. It, it, you, you either need to go all in and make it hilariously over the top that you're trolling or doing something like The Onion. Or you need to just take your article down because, yeah, I, I don't fucking know. So, I want to talk a little bit again about the trailer. There's a few things that I missed and I want to talk about. And then I do, um, I want to talk about my theories <laughs> just a little bit. But I want to start off with the one I talked about yesterday. And that was the fact that I think Cole is basically either some sort of blood relative or quite possibly a son or a grandson to Scorpion. And there's a lot of reasons for this or that make me think that. Obviously, the color scheme here, we have yellow. And we'll see later on in the trailer that it is yellow. But Mortal Kombat happens every 50 years. So, if the original Scorpion did it when he was 25, and Cole could then, you know, do it when he's 25. There would be 50 years in between. But, I don't know. It would have to have kind of changing the beginning scene and make it so his son escaped and we do see a dead child there or make it so he had a child with somebody else um but we'll have to kind of wait and see there's also if we go here i have the timestamps written down so i didn't drive you guys too crazy um if you go here you can see there is a little bit of a premonition here right and he sees himself or who he, he, something from the Mortal Kombat realm. And I'm assuming he's seeing Scorpion in, in hell, basically. And that's what he's seeing in the mirror. So it makes me think that, you know, he, he quite possibly could be his son. Now, that's theory number one. And I would talk a little bit about some of the other stuff I noticed in the trailer. There was a lot I missed. Now, and talk about this. I think uh, the original Hanzo Zashi, who we see, you know, fighting here. Um, in the beginning of the trailer is probably this person right here. Um, and I think this is quite possibly Quan Chi. And the reason why I say that is obviously they've teamed up. Um, Quan Chi 
brings back Hanzo Wasashi, and, and in turn, he is indebted to him, right? So, where else, if you're just talking about Mortal Kombat and talking about it to Cole, Sonya is, why would you show this picture unless it has something to do with the characters, right? I definitely think that's, I don't know, because I didn't, I went and you look at IMBD, we don't see a Quan Chi uh, character on there, but that's, that, that's my best guess. Now, I want to talk about something that was confirmed by Simon McCoy, and that is the fact where we are, where are we at here? That this, um, okay, so this character, obviously, <laughs> it, it, it is, uh, Sub Zero is Bihan. Uh, he confirmed it in a video that he did, um, on IGN's channel. I can link it in the description so you can see it, but he said this is the villain re- version of Sub Zero. This is Bihan. So we are going to see a very, very dramatically different than, you know, the other version of of Sub-Zero later on in the games. But that, that's kind of a good thing, at least in my opinion. I think it's a really good thing. So let's take a look at a character I missed. And, and I, I can't believe I missed it. Um, I had, you know, I guess it was just, you know, my initial reaction, but... Um, I was really surprised that I actually missed this character. If you look right here, and I'm going to show you another picture of him. If you look right here, this is Cabal. And we've got, you know, Cabal fighting Liu Kang here. But we actually get, uh, where is it, 149. Um, A better look at Cabal. Let me see if I can get him in motion for you a little bit. We get a better look at how he's going to be. I totally missed it uh, i in in obviously in the one before this it looks like he was probably doing one of his fatalities right and um i, I definitely think that 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 that's all three of what we're seeing we're seeing Liu Kang kill cabal we're seeing jack kill rico and i'll show you him here in just a minute and then we're seeing sonia do her fatality on melina so we're seeing them all die within the trailer i, I guess <laughs> I, I guess maybe they thought that was a good idea because there's going to be a lot more going on. Um, we do see Rico's arm right here. Um, and then we see uh, a better lo- a better look at Rico down here. Uh, down towards the end. Uh, if I can get it just right. Let's see here. Maybe. Here we go. All right, we get a better look at Rico here. I mean, not the greatest, but we definitely know that, you know, Jax is going to use his fatality on him. So I totally miss Rico and I totally miss Cabal, but I do think it's really, really cool. Now, there is a few more things. I talked about the laser vision yesterday and I said I thought it looked terrible. I want to show you something that I have a theory on 123 that I think that quite possibly is, that was fake laser vision. Not fake laser vision, but it wasn't the final product of what we're gonna see. Now, if you see here, this we're supposed to think he's doing his um, fatality on reptile, right? And we see him rip out the heart and it's real funny, guys. If you look right here, there is some sort, I know there's fire back here, I get it. Yes, there's fire back here. But I went through this a bunch of times and none of the fire lines up. But it does line up. I went a little bit too far. It does line up with his eye. So I'm wondering if that is not the final version of fire that we're going to, or laser vision that we're going to get. But why is this weirdly coming out of his back? If it's not connected to this fire over here. It just doesn't make any sense. I don't think this is the final version that we're going to get of, uh, uh, I was going to say chameleon, of reptile here. So, one more thing I want to show you. Another thing I complained about was Melina, right? Yeah, uh, we can just look at this one. Um, I don't actually have a timestamp for her, so we'll just talk about it. I'll throw a picture on the screen. Melina was changed and it was originally said that in the game in Mortal Kombat 11 they changed her because of the movie 
They changed her and gave her that tongue. For what reason I forgot yesterday, I don't know. But if you're looking at this and you're going, okay, this looks terrible, this is not Melina, that's because it's not finished. There's no fucking way that is finished Melina. There is absolute, I, I just couldn't hardly believe it. If it is, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. But why would they change your tongue in 11 if they were not going to... Um, put it in the movie, right? So her, her tongue, everything looks terrible. So I, they're definitely going to change something here, but I, I really think that they're, they're faking us out on a lot of stuff. They really are faking us out. Um, whether it is the laser vision or the reptile or Melina, I think it's going to be a lot more polished final product. Not saying a lot because this looks really good already. So I don't know. Let me know, of course, what you guys think. Oh, there is one more spot that kind of goes along with my um, my theory about it being his uh, about Scorpion being lineage, right? If you look right here, Scorpion is pulling back Sub Zero, and you see Cole, right? So he's saving Cole. What reason, I know Beyond is very, you know, crazy, but what reason would he have to save Cole? Absolutely none. Unless, maybe, just maybe, it's his son. Anyways, let me know, of course, what you guys think about all of this. If you think I'm wrong, if you have your own theories, let me know down below. I love reading them. I really do. I need to stop going through this trailer. It's, it's ridiculous at this point. <laughs> oh, let me know what you guys think. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreon and subscribe stars. You guys literally make this channel possible. Huge thank you to Cage the Mick, Robert Mick Twiz, Black Knight Fool, Brucey, Chris Z, David L, David Rafford, Jeffrey Allen Carnes, Mighty Balls, Mike Buckner, Mizen Barbosa, Ruscar, Ryan Decker, Robert Hoffman, and Doc Holiday. You guys are absolutely amazing, and thank you so much for all your support. Don't forget on the way out to like as always if you enjoy the content and hit subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.